Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this is about copperheads on this one. This is my latest copperhead edition. And um, I looked through Levine's guide, you know, trying to figure out what he has to say about copperheads. I couldn't find anything in there. And it's strange because copperheads have been around since the 1900s. He usually covers stuff like that. So then I went to look for my other source, Tobias. I went to see what he had about if he had copperheads as a specific pattern listed in there or discussed it. And I didn't see one. Maybe he has it in Knife Talks or everything else. So basically through my research, as much as I could find on the internet, a copperhead is basically it has one end that's up here protecting the bolster. Let me get something to show you first. On most knives, you'll have this part sticking up, you know, the tang exposed. And if you put this in and out of your pocket enough and you don't have a slip, it can start tearing your pocket up or ripping it up. And so, um, a copperhead design prevents that. See, it's just smooth. It just goes right through there. Well, you can see the kind of same thing on this gunboat canoe right here, right? But it's not called a copperhead. And on this Warncliffe Trapper right here, look at that. Well, not Warncliffe Trapper, just a Warncliffe. This is called a Warncliffe. So, again, it's, it's strange. You could call this a teardrop jack. You could call it a Warncliffe jack. Possibly you could call that a copperhead. I don't know. It just depends on what they say. But a, a normal, I don't know, normal copperhead. Here's a case copperhead. This is my first case. Two blades. Once again, you know, that ting is protected from you bumping into it when it goes in and out of your pocket. These are just rough riders here. Different copperheads. They usually have a two blades, you know, a clip blade, and then sometimes, a, let's see what this guy has. Yep, another like, I forget what that's called. I gotta figure that out again. A drop point, where it's just straight and then drops. Anyways, that's what you normally get. This one, the case has a little pin blade on it as its secondary blade. But yeah, both ends. There's there's single ones also. So yeah, this one is really pronounced. Most um most canoes have a little bit sticking up. Well that's a sunfish. This one's sunken down there so it doesn't, you know, get in the way. It protects that tang. Um, here's a regular gunstock canoe. See how it it does it on the the bolster comes up, protects this end and that end on a canoe. So yeah, basically that's all I got about copperheads. This is the smooth white bone one that I got from Blade Matrix. It's an older Rough Rider with the script and the sharp tested but it's a very nice smooth bone just a little bit of that speckling pattern that you see a lot of times in these white smooth bones let's see what the oops nice little nail nick it's funny the this would be like what I consider the main blade, and it doesn't have anything. No stamp, no nothing on it. Of course, it's behind the... It's on the pile side, but still. To me, this would be like your main blade of the whole knife, the biggest one. But, I don't know. So, there you go. I know that's not much I cover there. I was just watching that uh, Metal Complex has been demonetized again. For supposedly violating the firearms policy. You know, here, co here comes a rant. I think that this is just a ploy 
by YouTube to demonetize people so they can not share the money with the content creator because they'll refer you to the firearms policy and he goes and checks it and then it says you can't show extended capacity magazines or how to modify a weapon to full auto and all this other stuff and it says but it's not limited to this and then it gives you no specific reason why he was demonetized once again and it's my thought on this is um it's it's theft. It's basically theft. I mean, you're already the person that is supplying you with the content. You're already making money off him by running ads. Okay, so yeah, you could say that you know that's that's part of the give and take. You know, for s supplying the server and allowing us to put our videos up. You know, you can make a little money off of us. But if you're in a partnership program. They need to check with their partners, man. I mean, if the partners don't like guns, there's plenty of gun manufacturers out there that uh, would be happy to advertise on YouTube and have no problem with the ads. So I, I just don't understand this. To me, it sounds like social engineering that YouTube has gone up there and just decided that they don't like something. You know, anything that could be used as a weapon to hurt someone. Well, geez, man, I could cut you with a piece of paper. Is a piece of paper a weapon? No, it's something to write on. It's the intent behind it. It's not the item itself is inanimate. It's the person behind it that does things. So just to show an inanimate object and say this thing is dangerous. No, it's not. It's not inherently dangerous. So... I don't, I don't understand it. Like I said, it just pisses me off that he went through all this process of getting re-monetized finally, only to have it pop right back up that he's been demonetized for weapons, you know, for talking about weapons. So, I don't know. It, it's just crazy. Um, I've got a long ways from monetization if it ever happens, and... It basically, it's saying that it could be taken away from you for any or no reason, and you basically have no appeal process. You can ask for them to look at it again, but, you know, a lot of this is just done by, possibly by robots. Maybe he's got a hater that doesn't like his channel. Anyway, it's just another sad day for a video content on, um... All this collect knives out here. We're not out there a la Akbar running around and slaughtering people in the streets. We like knives. Yeah, knives can be used as weapon, but a box of matches can be used as a weapon. Is this illegal? You know what kind of damage you could do with one match? So I mean, it's just ridiculous. I, I don't I don't understand this. They should you know, this is supposed to be America, freedom of speech. Yeah, you can you can speak and everything, but uh, we're going to take your money away if you talk about something we don't like. I don't know. I'm just frustrated at it. So, there you go. That's a little tail end rant there. I didn't get too long on that one. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.